friends, I am Dr. Sandeep Valia. Today we are going to discuss about the module Product and Service Pricing. After completing this module, we will be able to understand about the concept of product or service pricing. We shall also be able to understand about the importance of product pricing. After completing this module, we shall also be able to understand about the various factors which are going to influence product pricing. So let us start with this module. Dear students, a product is a combination of a variety of goods and services. Goods form the vital product and services provide the distinctive facilities and advantages. For example, a tour package consists of tangibles such as food, travel and accommodation. This is the key component and element which will be provided by most of the service providers. However, the intangible part which includes quality of service and add-ons provide that extra edge to the tour sellers. This requires some extra efforts on the part of the seller. However, the results more than make up for it. Product pricing involves deciding monetary value of both tangibles and intangibles component. Fundamental product pricing methods such as cost plus can be utilized to fix the prices of tangible components of a tour product. However, the key challenge lies in the pricing of tangible components of the tour package. One of the ongoing practices is regularly keeping an eye on the competition and pricing a product subject to its price. However, this approach is only useful when there is a consistency in the offerings of different service providers. Also the product pricing varies with the time, it varies with the seasons, it also varies with supply, demand, markets and the other occasions. Such approaches and procedures make product pricing a difficult task where costs, margins of profit, fixed capacity, sellability, demand, fluctuation and a host of other factors are to be considered and balanced. Let us now take on about the concept of meaning of product pricing. What does it mean? Product pricing is the procedure and process through which a business firm set a price at which it will sell its products and services to the customers. And also this may be a component of the business's firm's market plan. The business firm while setting up the prices will take into consideration the prices at which it could obtain the goods. It also includes its manufacturing cost, the marketplace, the competition, the condition of the market brand and quality of that product. Pricing is something that only seldom gets its due importance. Many businesses, especially startups, possibly go to the ninth depth of the product design. However, will mostly think of a price when the product is either about to be launched in the market or after it starts getting beaten in the market post its launch. Even then, only rarely they think of pricing strategically. Many a times, given limited resource, it's just cost plus. Sometimes competition pricing clouds the decision. Rarely the value generated by the product becomes the foundation for the pricing of any product or any service. So what will be the result? Prices either end up being set to low or too high or being offered with a completely wrong pricing structure and this is going to ruin the business. Hence businesses fail to find enough customers who pass down the funnel approach and the product adoption fails to take off. Pricing is about market perception. Pricing is about product adoption. Pricing is about success or failure of the business. Hence businesses or the firms who are involved in such businesses should take strategic approach in pricing about their products and their services. There are three components to the overall pricing strategy. Let us this discuss these three components one by one. The first is choice of pricing principle. That is cost plus competitive value based. Second is choice of a price positioning which involves market scheming, neutral penetration and third is the choice of pricing structure. In this particular component, unit pricing, tired pricing, bundled pricing, subscriptions etc are taken to be consideration. Let us now take about the definition of the product pricing. Product pricing is the technique of interpreting the value of a product into quantitative terms to customers at a given point of time and market. 
The basic of product pricing is to establish value into the product and accordingly price it in the market. Marketing mix is one of the fundamental components of the product pricing. A product or service has three dimensions. The first is a physical one, then the second one is tangible and economic value which are expressed in the price and the subjective dimension that is the satisfaction or benefit that a customer imagines wants or expects from the product consumers are motivated by needs desires and impulses that act as a driving forces to purchase any product and service the price may be synonym with the image prestige and social recognition at many a times consumers are less sensitive to the price of a good or a service that is valued for a unique attribute that sets it apart from the competition or if better quality is offered you must know how to interpret their wishes if you want to influence their pricing purchasing decisions about a particular products or the services except importance and process of product pricing product pricing is the monetary value which is decided for the exchange of goods and services between the sellers and the buyers for such kind of exchange processes maximum benefits are desired by both parties while a seller is considerably focusing on covering cost a decent earning of profits combining a variety of long term and short term objectives buyers usually desires a best value of the money he pays for the product or the services he wants to to buy an interchange of a number of factors helps in the decision making process of the final price of the product which is accepted by everyone in the market finding and accepting the suitable and genuine price figure is a continuous process let us now discuss about the importance of product pricing so dear students product pricing of the process of price fixation of a product is significantly an important decision of the business firm considering the following aspects and these aspects includes like most flexible component of the marketing mix product pricing is considered as the most flexible marketing mix component which can be modified very early in the competition it helps in increase in the cost regulation of government processes and certain other factors which are relevant for this modification of the other components such as product process people and product promotion is a long term process which requires time hence product pricing is usually utilized in the modifying the marketing mix on the regular basis from time to time second is important to set prices right in the beginning finding the right and proper price of a product is significantly an important decision making process which requires brainstorming if a wrong pricing of the product is set it is very difficult to rectify and correct it at with due course of time customers may usually move towards the low priced offers offered by various market competitors for the same product and service if in beginning the prices are set high and they may not be brought back by reducing the prices of a particular product in the initial phases low product pricing may cause sellers lost their profits and the efforts to increase prices lately may not succeed as the buyers may not accept the newly prescribed value or price for the product and the service it is especially true in the markets which are price sensitive like asian countries for example india just because price of a product is modified easily does not indicate that seller should play around with it while finding the right price for fit if the customer start recognizing that prices offered by a business firm are not trustworthy then it can generally lead to the irrecoverable damage to the firm and its products and services and the brand image of that particular firm third is builds value and image price figures of a product are usually utilized by the customers to build the right perceptions about a business firm a quality product backed by high prices enhances its brand value and appeal in the minds of the customers marketers of a business firm try to incorporate the prices of a product in a perfect condition with other components of the marketing mix in order to create the right value and image of their product and services which are they are offering to the market the next is the part of sales promotion pricing of a product is used to uplift the sales over a short span of time in the form of discount schemes 
price packs, loyalty schemes, and various other factors. Such policies are useful to increase sales in lean seasons also, thereby building new customers who might be motivated to try a service once the new price of a product matches their spending level and satisfaction level. A business firm in a competitive market must have proper checks in place whenever they go for sales promotion based on the prices of a product or a service. Pricing of a product has to be fixed in such a manner that the aim of sales promotion is going to be achieved and profits should be maximized. Let us now discuss about process of product pricing. In fixing the prices of a product or a service, a fixed well-defined process is not possible. Such kind of processes usually requires various factors to be taken into consideration and reconsideration at times. And at the same time, we need to do this. However, the following steps are to be taken into consideration in the product pricing decision making processes. We need to take stock of marketing strategy. Marketing strategy prepares a long-term roadmap for a firm and all decisions are taken accordingly. Product pricing decisions should take the businesses or the business firm closer to the desired position specified in the market plan. Market analysis and market segmentation and market positioning and targeting are all taken into consideration in the decision making process to make it sure that the product pricing is done in accordance to the process. The second one is the studying marketing mix decisions. Product pricing is one of the components or only components of marketing mix and should be systematically interlinked with other components. It should not work at cross purchases or cross purposes with other components. An analysis of other components indicates what is to be achieved through a proper pricing of a product and a service. Next is estimated demand curve with price. So students, price flexibility analysis of product offer will provide an estimation of the demand at different price levels. It is significantly more important because a business firm may be focusing on other aims such as quantity to be sold of the product and service. The next component is understand environmental factors. The prices of market competitors, changes in costs because of increased input costs, increased taxes and government laws, regulations should be taken into consideration or into account for their influence and their impact on the pricing of a particular product or a particular service. Then to set pricing objectives. A business firm may, must decide its objectives and aims for a product pricing. A number of aims and objectives can be put together, but these should be complement with each other. A business firm possibly cannot fulfill both objectives of market share and high prices at the same time. The next component is the develop price with price methods. Now the decision to be taken into consideration is final pricing of a product or a service to be decided with the help of and support of the suitable pricing techniques. This final price of the product and the service takes into consideration all other major components while setting the price for a particular product or a service. And the sequence of these steps in the product pricing process is constant as most of the factors taken into account at each stage changes with the time which leads to the revision and modification of the prices. But the prices of the product should be kept stable for a good enough span of time which will enable customers to make decisions. Let us discuss about factors influencing product pricing. Product pricing is influenced by a number of factors relating to demand, supply and environment. The progressive impacts of these factors decide the final price of the product or the service. So, in this, let us decide, discuss about supply side factors. The supply side factors influencing the product pricing and are discussed as follows. The first one is the perishable. If services of a product are not consumed at the right time, it will get perished. These product services cannot be produced in advance and stored for the later consumption. Product services 
are to be consumed properly as and when the product is produced. The second is intangible or the intangibility. Services on a product are influenced by intangibles and deciding a monetary value for such services is very much difficult. For example, a room of a hotel is facing sea is differently perceived by the tourist or the visitor as compared to the one which is facing the road. But the question is of converting such differences into monetary figures, which in terms of preferred locations or preferred sites. Then the next is geographically restricted operations. A number of geographical restrictions tend to affect the product pricing services. Such kind of geographical restrictions consequently confine a product to a restricted market and the economies of scale does not come into consideration as an important factor. Such kind of factors leads to the increase in the prices of a product. Next is fixed capacity. Every product pricing services have capacities to get fixed. Since supplies of a product services are constrained pricing of a product tends to increase in relation to the demand. The next is substitutes. The availability of various substitutes helps in the rise of total supplies of a product and customers shift to various distinct approaches for reasons such as rise in prices of product, non-availability of product services and so on. If such kinds of substitutes are not available, prices tend to increase with the demand. The next factor is the cost. Cost of a product helps in deciding the accepted level of monetary value to be charged from the customer while buying a particular product or a particular service. However, due to some product intangibilities or some product inabilities, if cost of a product are high, price also tend to be unreasonably high. Cost of a product or service are always taken into consideration by marketers when most of the elements of a product are brought from other suppliers. The next is objectives of the marketer. A significant commitment and contribution towards achieving a business firm's objective is made by the pricing of a product. If the aim of a business firm is volume, like it wants to play on volumes, low prices of a product are set to penetrate the market. However, if the aim of the business firm is to build an image or premium quality, products prices are set to be high as the customers generally tend to relate high prices to high quality. Then next is the competition. Competition in the business firms increases supplies reduces inabilities and lowers the prices of the product in that particular market. Let us now discuss about the demand side factors. Students, the demand related factors that affect pricing of a product or a service are discussed as follows. The first such factor is value perception. Product pricing value perception is subjective in nature and varies among and within the segments of the market. Such value perceptions also differs with time and location. Such perceptions develop because of the willingness to pay for the non-monetary considerations as well. The second such factor is level of demand. Product pricing is influenced by the level of demand. Higher the demand, higher the prices. As customers complete or compete among themselves for the best customer satisfaction. Such a phenomenon is frequently witnessed in business firms market with demands throughout the year. Marketers increase prices of a product to generate higher revenues. However, prices of a product cannot be increased beyond a limit because higher prices damage the market demand. The next such factor is demand pattern. Product pricing demand is frequently marked by the fluctuations in market seasons for the best customer satisfactions. As a result, such demand surpasses the capacity in peak seasons and services.
out competition from the market. Similar product competition in a business firm implies increasing price sensitivity among customers. Competition among business firms for a product is also regulated by the government authorities. The next factor is government policies. Business firms have to regulate and abide by the rules and regulations that have been laid down by the government from for pricing of a product and a service. When a product is produced and prepared, differences in product pricing is reflected in every market. The next factor is exchange rate fluctuations. The fluctuations in an exchange rate of a product is directly influence competitiveness of prices which enables customer to make decisions in buying a product at a relative price. All these factors and variables from critical inputs for about product pricing decision making process. Dear students, let us now summarize what we have discussed in this module. Product pricing is the procedure and process through which a business firm sets a price at which it will sell its products and services. And also this may be a component of business firm's marketing plan. The business firm while setting up the prices will take into consideration the prices at which it could obtain the goods manufacturing cost, the marketplace, the competition, the condition of the market, the brand and quality of the product and the service. Product pricing is the technique of interpreting the value of a product into quantitative terms to customers at a given point of time and market. The basics or the basic of the product pricing is to establish a value into the product and accordingly pricing it. Marketing mix is one of the fundamental components of product pricing. The sequence in the product pricing process is constant as most of the factors taken into account at each stage changes with the time which leads to the re revision and modification of the prices of those particular products and services. But the prices of a product should be kept stable for a good enough span of time which will enable customers to make their decisions about those particular products and services. How to price a new product is a top management puzzle that is too often solved by cost, theology and hunch. This module suggests a pricing policy geared to the dynamic nature of a new product's competitive status and today's high rate of innovation makes the economic evolution of a new product a strategic guide and a practical guide for the pricing of new products and services. New products have a protection.